Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Bluetooth on or off toggle is missing on your Windows computer. So, generally speaking, this should be available on most computers as long as you have a Wi-Fi adapter or built-in networking capabilities. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the Bluetooth section here by double clicking on it. And then locate your Bluetooth device listed in here. Right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer specific one unless there's only generic drivers available. And then select next. Once it's done, close out of here and open up the search menu again. Type in services. Best result, check them back with services. Open that up. You want to go down to the Bluetooth services. There's going to be multiple ones listed in here. Make sure they're all turned on. So double click on the first one here. Set it to automatic for the startup type. Service status should be set to running. So if it's not, select the start button and then select apply and OK. Do that for all of the Bluetooth services listed in here. You don't have to do the last one if it's just random characters at the end. This one is not necessary. So with that done, now we want to go ahead and just restart our computer. And now open up the search menu, type in settings, go ahead and open that up. Select Bluetooth and devices on the left side and make sure Bluetooth is toggled to the on position now. And if you need to add your device, you can click the little plus button in here or you can select view more devices. And then hopefully if your device was already installed, you should see it in this list. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.